And here it is, the DeVault DWB800 blower, weighing in at 1.8 kilograms, 800 watt motor up to 16,000 RPM. Variable speed control moving 4.5 cubic meters of air per minute, three meter power cord, and a blower and vacuum function. In the box, we are greeted with the user manual and warranty card, uh, this unit having a three year warranty. Next up is the dust collection bag with a zipped opening and closing. Rubber blower nozzle with twist lock attachment. And lastly, the blower. Seems like a sturdy plastic construction with three feet for a base. Rubber overmolded grip, plastic switch and rotary speed control. And it's also got replaceable brushes. The power cord is a lengthy three meters long with a two prong plug. And chaps, I can tell you that this thing blows pretty damn hard. Welcome back to the Burden Bulls Garage. How's the chaps and welcome back to the Burden Bulls Garage. In today's episode, we are having a look at this unit, the DWB 800. Uh, it's an 800 watt blower from DeVault. Now, this is the corded unit. Uh, you do get a cordless version, the 20 volt max brushless version. Uh, I think it's the model number DCE 100. So, spoiler alert, that is a lot more convenient to use than uh, this chap. Uh, although it doesn't blow as hard, uh, but I think maybe the convenience might trump the little bit of um, uh, of less blowing. Um, but you know, for your convenience, I have put a link in the description to that to, to that 20 volt max version, the cordless version. So check that out if you are interested in that one. You also get what was it? A DCBL722. Now this is like a quite a large blower, also by Devolt, um, also a cordless brushless version. But I think it's more of a dedicated leaf blower. Um, so I also put a description in, uh, not a description, <laughs> a link in the description um, in case you guys are interested in that one. So, uh, but today is all about the DWB800. Uh, we're also going to tear this thing down uh, just to see how well it works. And um, before we actually get started, please guys, if you do like the video, uh, give it a thumbs up eventually and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, definitely leave some comments in the comment section. It's really, really always nice to hear from you. Um, but other than that, let's get into the video. Now, when I was looking at buying one of these things, um, I was, was weighing up basically the, the cordless versus the corded version. Now the cordless version is a little bit more expensive. Um, so I went for this one uh, just to try it out for now. And uh, I was asking myself basically four questions. Um, number one, how sturdy or how well is it built? Number two, how long is the cord? Because that is something, uh, you know, corded tools, uh, you know, have in common. Generally, the cords are always too short. So how long is the cord? Um, how hard does it blow? Well, you know, it's a blower. So of course, that's what we want to know. And then this is a variable speed blower. So how well does the speed control work? And I guess maybe we could ask ourselves a fifth question is, um, does this thing suck? So to get into it, how sturdy is it or how well is it built? This thing is built like a brick shithouse. Now, if you don't know how strong a brick shirt house is, um, <laughs> it's generally a term used for something that is built really well. Um, it's quite a simple design. It's just a clamshell, small clamshell design, really. Uh, very robust. And I mean, you know, if you, if you try and bend it or, or flex it, it's, it's really stiff and strong. It's probably gonna be made out of a PA6 or a nylon based material uh, maybe some glass fiber reinforcing it we'll check that out during the teardown video so come back for that um, the front nozzle is is a rubber nozzle uh, like the uh, same as the uh, over molding here on the handle a rubber type handle little plastic switch well you can't really see it uh, there it is over there so a very sturdy built thing you know I, I think if you drop this off the table or uh, you throw it around swing it around by the power cord it's not really going to break um, it's got a good strain relief yeah at the back so a uh, nice little strain relief there the cord is pretty thick so yeah I, I reckon it's pretty well built although we'll see after many use if any if any of you guys know any different let us know in the comments um now the second question how long is the cord so if you didn't notice twice in the intro <laughs> 
This tool has got a three meter power cord. So you can be assured that if you plug it into an outlet, you will at least get three meters away from that outlet. And here's a little tip. If you don't plug it into the outlet, well, you can go as far as you want to. Now, uh, guys, in all reality, you're gonna be using this outside and you're gonna be needing to move more than three meters. So keep an extension cord handy. Now I've got a lot of them around, but in my garage, which is not much bigger than a shoebox. So if you've got a, a bigger garage, a double garage or a bigger space, you're going to need the extension cord. But my plug is over there. Uh, it's about three meters away. So really not a problem for in the garage. So most of us are gonna use it outside uh, to you know blow the leaves away and uh, the odd stray children away. Of course, that was a joke. We're not going to blow the leaves away, blow the children away. Sorry, we're not going to blow the children away. Um, so definitely keep an extension cord handy. Uh, and this is where that 20 volt max version, the brushless cordless version comes into play. It is a lot more convenient. The next question was, how hard does this thing blow? And I think that's what we are all here for. For this, I did the standard three tests that everybody does the blowjob test, the toilet paper test, and the golf ball test. Now, for the blowjob test, uh, I tested it out in the garage to see how well it blows, and it was extremely successful at relocating the dirt from the floor onto the walls and the ceiling and the tool boards and everything else. So I ended up having to blow off all of that as well. <laughs> but outside it worked actually really well uh, and it, it definitely does blow leaves and debris quite well into your neighbor's yard. So if that's something that you're into, you know, pick one of these things up. <laughs> For the toilet paper test, this unit is excellent at dispensing toilet paper at high speed. It maintained quite a steady flow and a steady stream and did the job in no time at all. So 10 out of 10 for that one. Now you might be asking yourself, well, what is the golf ball test? Stick around, I'm gonna show you now. Now this is something that I've been wanting to do for quite a long time and I was wondering how to demonstrate how well the speed control works. So that was the fourth question we were actually gonna answer, was how well does the speed control work on this unit? So um, as we all know, it's got uh, a minimum, then one, two, three, four, five, and maximum speeds. So uh, one works fairly well for uh, blowing yourself off, if that's uh, something that you're into. Um, two works fairly, well, I should say two to four, works fairly well uh, for just moving stuff around uh, at various speeds. Five works really well for dispensing that toilet paper uh, at, at high speed. <laughs> and then, uh, of course, max is uh, max balls outside when you want to blow that uh, all of those leaves over into your neighbor's yard. So uh, check this out. This is quite, quite fun to do, a little experiment. Um, we are on the minimum setting. I think it is plugged in. Yeah, it is plugged in. This is a standard golf ball. So no no buggering around here and uh, I'm just going to put the golf ball on top of the nozzle and then I'm going to I mean I, I'm explaining this before we actually do this which is going to make a bit of noise uh, I'm going to pull the trigger on the minimum setting and then I'm going to wind it up as we go oh that didn't work Okay, let's try this once more. I think I've bumped it.
how cool was that? Um, so there we go. That's basically how well the speed control works. Um, I reckon it's, it's pretty good, pretty doable. So the last question is, does this thing suck? And yes, it does suck. Now, uh, you can reconfigure this. So you take the nozzle off the blowy end and you put it onto the sucky end here. Um, it's just a twist lock system. And then we can take our bag and put that onto the, the blowy end here. And we lock it into position. And now, basically, we can use this nozzle to suck up whatever we want to. So I don't quite know why exactly you would want to use this as a vacuum. I mean, most of us have got shop vacs and uh, yeah, it's not a vacuum cleaner, it's a blower. But I guess, you know, if that's something that you're into, whatever blows your hair back. So chaps, I would say this tool works very well and I'm pretty happy with it so far. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you found it entertaining and uh, pick one of these things up. They're really fun and cool tools to use. Also, uh, keep a lookout for the next video or possibly the one after that uh, we're going to tear it down see what it's like inside and how well it is built yeah i suppose that is it uh, subscribe if you haven't already and uh, yeah <laughs> we'll see you in the next video cheers